This is the Nexus Special, Episode 26, Apple iPad Event 2013, on Tuesday, October 23rd, 2013, and now it's an extremely simple tool. This special is hosted by Ryan Rampersad with Matthew Petty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, and good morning. I really love that video. We played it for the first time at the developers conference in June, and I wanted to open with it this morning because I think it does such an incredible job of talking about our values. It reflects the unique way that Apple creates what we believe are the very best products in the world. You're going to see some amazing products this morning that could only have been developed in that unique way. We are really excited to show them to you. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's pretty good. So, uh, what brings you here today? Uh, an Apple event brings me here today. Is that today? No, it was actually yesterday, but we didn't oh. get around to it yesterday. I was working. I was sleeping. Well, that's reasonable. So there was a, an uh, iPad announcement. Did you hear about that? Mm, not too much. What can you tell me about it? Well, I can tell you a lot about it, but uh, we have to get through some uh, Mavericks first. Mavericks? You know, they're very eccentric. Uh, I hate that about them. Uh, you shouldn't. Uh, but, you know, if you wanted to uh, actually watch the keynote, you know, it is out right now. It's actually a pretty good keynote. Oh, I thought it was... It's just, on, it's just not on YouTube, but you can get it from Apple directly. Oh. But okay. the catch is that you need QuickTime. Oh, no, I, I need my computer to work. Right, and so that's why I can't watch it yet. Yeah, because we, we know what happened to your QuickTime and Audacity working at the same time, even on your Fancy Pants i7. That didn't happen here, just so you know. It, it probably did happen, but that that was actually on an AMD product. It doesn't matter. I try it right now and watch it work. Right? I kind of don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so yes, yeah, so you should definitely watch the keynote if you're uh, really bored. But, uh, you know, they all look the same and they all said the same thing, so... I had, I had fun watching the last one, uh, especially that car part. Yeah, so there was no car. There, so no there was demos? no no car demos, no demos in general of anything but Apple product. So at least we know for sure the show was good. Well, that yeah. sounds uh, interesting. Have you listened uh, to it yet? I, I have not actually gotten around to it because I'm waiting for the YouTube version. Oh yeah, yeah, we all are. Right. So let's begin with uh, Mavericks and OS Ten. So um, Craig Federici uh, demoed some the some of the same things he's demoed for the last two times about Mavericks, which is not much. Uh, so you know they have the new tabs in Finder, they have the new um, full screen support for apps that w- isn't really new but works better for some reason. You know, like he can have two Finders, two Docs, and two menu bars, uh, one on each monitor. Ah, yeah. Uh, so that there are those things. There are some other under the hood improvements like their memory compression. Like their coalesce timers, so it's it's cool stuff, but it's not stuff you might notice immediately. Uh, Brian Mitchell, who is not here today, I, I, he has some kind of thing called school or something, I guess. Um, he uh, probably would know more about it because he already has Mavericks. Uh, I'm waiting a few days um, until their first bug patches come out. That's a good thing because I, I need the MacBook Air to work right now because I'm coding some uh, multi-process browsers. Kind of needed to work. So, Mavericks came with a surprise this year. Uh, last year, do you remember how much Mountain Lion cost? Uh, what, 60 bucks? 20. 20? Yeah. Good, good try, though. Close. Uh, now, do you remember what Lion came out as? How much Lion cost? Um, guess 20 bucks? Yes, very good. So, you, you're catching on. So, we, we always assumed that they would keep whittling it down, but, like, it would be 20, and then 15, and then 10, and then 9.99, and then... Five and the four ninety nine, you know, just just going down this progression. We didn't think it would jump from twenty to free. So Mavericks is free this year, which is really cool. So you don't need to buy it; you can just download it. So I can just download it too. You don't have to have an Apple ID that's proven to purchase something. Actually, you do need a Mac. So I can't just yeah, it. It's no. not it's not that free yet. No, it's not that free. It's close, mm-hmm. but not that free. You still need some Apple hardware. That's lame. Yeah. But it's not hard to find somebody who has a Mac App Store that you can authenticate through. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Figures. But it's really great that it's free, so I don't have to waste my last dollar and 72 cents. Sounds like you can buy more Domino's. 
That's true. Twenty bucks or Domino's. Wow, that's a that's a good point. Um, so Mavericks is there. Uh, people will enjoy it. Now, the m- number one most rated improvement. Do you know what it is? Tabs. No, Ruby two point is included by default. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's what I hear. So, I don't know if it's, uh... so in addition to the operating system, there are also some changes to the software that comes by default. So, as usual, um, on the Mac, you would always get iLife and iWorks by default, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, is that true? Uh, I feel like you got iLife, but I don't know. No, I don't know if you necessarily got iWork. I remember having iLife discs. I think that was for Snow Leopard, though. Yeah. Well, so now they're all free across the board on all your Macs. So you buy a Mac, you just get it. And uh, they announced today, along with the, you know, so since they're, they already do it on the Mac, any iOS device you get, I, I work and iLife will also be free. Nice. So there's a catch. There's a catch. At least for GarageBand and presumably with other apps that they release in the future. Mm-hmm. You will also have the ability to purchase in-app extras, so you no longer have to pay for the app. But if you want extra loops for GarageBand, or I don't know what else they could give you, but not cripple other apps. But you know, they you, they'll uh, allow you to buy extras. Like, do you get more instruments or anything? Probably. Or? Hmm. Well, I hope they keep all the ones that are existing free. I think they will. Um. And they might even, so one of the things that they rolled out recently um, with iOS 7 is something called um, paid receipts. So they know and they can track, and apps can do this now also because it's a public API. They can track if you've previously purchased an app that was paid, and then if it transitioned to free, they can track that purchase and give you an in-app purchase without having you to pay for it again. So I get five bucks towards buying new stuff? I'm hoping that's what they do for GarageBand. I don't know since I haven't tried it yet. Hmm. So we'll we'll, we'll see. see. That that would be really nice. Now in the um, Mac department, you know, there's uh, you know, there's the iMacs. Those were updated a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you, I don't know if we talked about this on at the Nexus, but d- did we mention that there were new Macs? Yes, iMacs. Mm-hmm. Um, they just got Haswell bumps. That's it. Yeah. Not that exciting. They shipped with Mountain Lion. Just just shipped. They didn't even wait for this in this event. Uh, that's because there was nothing new about them. Yeah. Uh, so those those have already been there. No new MacBook Air stuff, which is fine, because those were just updated in, what, June, I guess? Mm -hmm. So, what was updated? Well, something that was announced last June, June, um, and something we were looking forward to, because it's black and round, looks like a trash can, and we all wanted to play with it, and that is the new um, MacBooks Pros. Except for it's a Mac Pro. Yeah, Mac Pro. Not, but not... nobody says Mac Pro because nobody ever has one. No, nobody. No. But they all. So uh, somebody in my class yesterday said my Mac Pro, and it's like your MacBook Pro. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the reason why nobody's ever heard of it because it's starting at three thousand dollars. Yes, it starts at a very high price, three thousand dollars for the base model. Um, let me see if I can find some pricing. But. It is I, I can't. really, really, really nice because the base one has 12 gigabytes of DDR3 at uh, 1866 uh, megahertz, and that's faster than I knew was possible to buy. Yeah, right. Because um, when I last stuff I bought was 1600, I thought that was fast. Um, oh, okay. So I've got the pricing details. So the base model, the quad core uh, model with the dual GPU. It comes with 12 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 1866 megahertz memory. Um, the GPUs are AMD Fire Pros. Um, you know, they're just... Yeah, they come with the dual Fire Pros. Yeah, two Fire Pros. So that's four gigabytes of DDR5 at some speed or Which means another. you could be that guy with the 4K display again. Three of them. Mm-hmm. You could be that guy. Now, that costs $3,000. The six-core variant... With everything else being the same, as far as I know. Actually, no, they are different. More memory. Um, no, so it is more memory, but the, even the Fire Pros are different. Are the D500. D500 with three gigs each. So yeah. that would be six gigs in total for the flash memory. Um, with, uh, you know, so that would be $4,000. So you double the price. Or, well, no. You, you know, just you add a thousand. You just add a thousand. No, actually, it might as well double, because with tax, it's like double. Well, not if you... No, there's no... California and that. No? No, okay. I figured it will be free of tax in California. No. But that's cool, I guess. Yeah, um, I mean... So it comes in a really cool box. It's a big black box. 
Yeah, I mean, they look cool, and I, I really would like to see somebody make a pillar out of them. Like, just oh, yeah. some IT guy at the corner of his desk, just just an eight-foot-tall pillar, just of these stacked on top of each other. I wonder if they can do that. Like, I wonder if... I'm sure they can. Yeah. Um, so there's also a really nice video you can watch on YouTube right now. I'll put a link in the notes uh, about the design process, the manufacturing process in it. It's very cool because it is. I thought it was plastic. Uh, yeah, I did not know that the whole thing was metal. It looks plastic, but they put a gloss on it. Yeah, I mean, it's... yeah. So it actually looks really nice. It does. It, it's better build quality than I thought they were going to get credit for. But you know, it makes sense because the previous Mac Pro that was literally just a chunk of steel. Yeah. Yeah. You know that thing. So what else um, in the Mac section were updated today? Well, um, as the, th- the thing that everyone has are the Retina MacBook Pros. Everyone has one, huh? Everyone has one. That's anybody. Everybody? Well, not me, because I, I try not to be uh, happy. Then. Happy. Well, today, um, there or yesterday, I guess, there was a rather large update in terms of price to the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. Now... I don't remember how much it launched at, but it was previously fifteen ninety nine for the base model. Now the base model is twelve ninety nine, so it's a it's a three hundred dollar price drop, which is really nice. But of course, there's a catch. It seems to be the thing going along here. Now, you know, it, it got updated to, um, you know, with Haswell components, so it's using some, you know, Intel four thousand chip. I'm not sure which one because they're mobile and they don't make sense like the desktop variants. Um, it does have improved graphics, so instead of using just Intel 4000, it uses uh, Iris 5100, which is much better. Um, apparently, that is equivalent to a GTX 650. Really? Yeah. Nice. So that's that's not you know for for gaming that's not great, but it's better than Intel 4000. That's all that matters. You probably would be gaming on this anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's um, a Mac. Right. It's a Mac. You don't want to work, want, run Windows on that. So uh, Now, here's how they got it to be such a low price. They took out all the memory and added 4 gigs back in. And 4 gigs is enough for browsing and doing other things. I know, but this is a MacBook Pro, so it should have a base config of, 8, of 800, uh, 8 megs. 8 gigs! 8 gigs. What am I talking about? Uh, 8 gigs of memory. Yeah, 8 gigs of memory. Uh, it, it, but instead, it comes with only 4 gigs by default now. That's fine. I think... As long as you restart your computer every couple weeks, it's fine. I mean, on the MacBook Air, I don't have a problem with it. And with Maverick's new memory compression techniques, it probably doesn't matter. Hmm. Um, like, the memory is compressed even faster now with a Haswell, so why not? You just got lower, and it's absurd. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to know what's even more absurd? You. Your straight hair. Oh. Well, let's talk about the 15-inch, then. The 15 inch dropped two hundred dollars, I believe, mm-hmm. from twenty one twenty one ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine. So I don't mean uh, like twenty dollars. I mean like two thousand dollars. Two thousand, huh? Mm-hmm. Drop in price. No, no, no. So I think it's interesting that this product costs two thousand dollars. The entry product for the Mac Pro costs three thousand. So they're putting three thousand. You know. Entry level prices, you know, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, up that pro line. Yeah. Now, if you look at the pricing for the Retina display that that uh, the MacBooks, they have one at nineteen hundred or you know two thousand, and then also another one at twenty six hundred. So their their pricing umbrella there is kind of wide. But uh, but I, I think it'll work for them. I, th- uh, I will, as, uh, and there are configurable options too. That's where the money goes. Oh yeah. You know it, and so that that's just been updated with Haswell components. Now, overall, the both machines were somehow made smaller and slimmer, and even more not even there. I love paying more for things that aren't there. I don't even know how they do this. So, uh, I want to talk about that iPad Air now. Ah, yes. I, I don't mean there's an Air in your iPad. I mean it's called. As in MacBook Air, it's iPad Air. Yeah, so the, the latest fifth generation of the iPad is now known as Airs. So what do you think about that? Let's just begin there. Well, that's fine. Like, um, they need some other way to make it because there's already a... Like, the difference between 3 and 4, they came really close together. Nobody can tell the difference between a 3 and a 4 besides the 30 pin and the right. bottom. Like, yeah. the graphics and everything is pretty much the same. Which because they were the same. Exactly. Oh, okay then. Um, 
But now this one is the air. It's physically different. It's, it's and very physically different. Just the name air should just be for the MacBooks. I feel. No, I think it's a, a good good thing to differentiate on. Oh, does that mean they're going to have three iPads? I think that means they will have three iPads eventually. Because it's fine to have the mini and the iPad. R- but see, so. it's weird. So the MacBook Air is the smallest MacBook you can buy. But the mini is still. So that'd be like calling the small MacBook Air the MacBook Air Mini. You know what I mean? But there, there isn't going to be a mini for, or there isn't going to be an Air Mini. No, There's because just... because they're they're identical physically, except for the screen size and battery. Mm-hmm. So the MacBook Air is you know the small version of the MacBook Pros, mm-hmm. and so now there is no big version of the iPad. It's just the ah, iPad Air. But you're wrong about that. There's we all expected like there to be no more iPads and other things after this, but no, there's still no more making, iPads, huh? They're making the iPad two still. Yeah, then we didn't yeah. expect old iPads to survive. I expected uh, an iPad. Four to persist for a while because it would be last gen and it would still maintain their stock for some reason or another. But with all this crap going on, I guess it's fine to have air. Well, I, I like the air, their air symbol, but that also infers that there's going to be something above the iPad Air, a more premium or pro model. The iPad Six. So there's been you know rumors, of course, from the Wall Street Journal and elsewhere, mostly the Wall Street Journal. That there's going to be a, a 13 inch iPad, um, and that could be called an iPad Pro then, and it would be bigger and do less, but come in multiple different colors. Exactly not. So let's talk about some specs of the iPad Air. It uh, has the iPhone 5s's A7. There is no X variant. We don't know at this point though if it has a higher clock speed or if it's any different internally. Uh, presumably, it doesn't need the secure enclave that the uh, 5S does because it doesn't have the fingerprint scanner. But it's probably in there anyway, so it's weird if it w- didn't have a variant. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's 43% slimmer in regards to its bezels. So each side of the bezel is 43% less than it previously was. So that's that's a, quite a big reduction. Did you ever hold the um, Nexus 7 2013 edition? <laughs> Just for a split second, because um, one guy was watching me hold it. Yeah, but and so I'm like, did, yeah, did, did it, it, it's but it's did nicer. you did you notice the bezels not sucking as much? Oh, uh, except on the top where they suck more. But if you hold it upside down, it looks fine. Yeah, well, so the the bezels on the iPad Four make it much more manageable. I've always thought the iPad uh, iPad Air make it much more manageable. I always thought the iPad Four was gigantic because of its square just bezels. A wuss. Is that what you call it? I don't like when you hold it. I don't like using it as a shield. I want to use it as a tablet. It's more like holding a clipboard. Like you want a big clipboard, but like it's a heavy mini. clipboard. Heavy. Yeah. The thing weighs like nothing. It was one point four seven pounds. I can't feel that. I know you. Maybe because I'm three hundred and ten. Right. I don't know. It's like nothing. That's margin rounding like, error. It weighs less than a pizza. Oh, so you can only carry pizza now. Well. Yeah. It happens. So um, it's 20% lighter than the iPad 4, which isn't saying much, but I guess that's great. That's fine. Um, I don't really... I, I, I agree with you. The weight wasn't my problem. It was just the size of it. Like, I couldn't hold one end with my hand and then not let my hand droop. Well, I just wanted a like a way to like attach it to your hand. Like, you know how they have the cases with the yeah, plastic band on the back? Yeah, you shouldn't need to do that. I would that. have loved that. Shouldn't need to do. Well, that. I thought about getting another case, but I spent so many, so much on cases for the iPad too, which inevitably got jacked. So the 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 same camera is existing on this. The camera appears no different, which is kind of funny. It's kind of weird, but maybe this generation didn't need new cameras to be more enticing. It, it's it's a five megapixel camera. It has a two point four aperture. Now, do they it's, fix it when you take pictures of the sun? No. Oh, crap. No. Still blue. Yeah. Still still purple and blue. Uh, it is now on T-Mobile, so you can now get a model that su- is supported on GSM and T-Mobile, at and mm-hmm. which is nice. Um, I'll tell you more about that in a second. It also is now available in a 128 gigabyte model. The iPad 4 variant of this came out a couple months ago for no reason at all, but did anyway. Yeah, I don't know why someone would need 128 gigs, but it's nice that they're having that on, option now. On an iPad, no less. Now... Try guessing what the price point of the new iPad Air is. I'm um, guessing same as always for the 16 gig. Wow, you're right. 
and the, um, the, the, that that price would be uh, four ninety nine. Oh, that's so true. It is four ninety nine. And how much do you think it is for the three uh, G four G version? Well, um, oh, you'd probably add about seventy dollars to it. No, no, no. That that's thinking too small. No, the the same size, but three G four G version would be one hundred and thirty nine dollars more. So from four ninety nine to six twenty nine. Wait, six twenty nine. Huh. Do you know that's 48 pizzas? Or trips to Domino's? Wow. 48 weeks. That's amazing. Like, that almost gets you through the year of pizza. Yeah. At this studio, at least. Yeah, that that's pretty much a lot. So there's yeah. there's a lot of different iPads, though. So, like, just let me just make this clear. Uh, so I don't know if the, uh, the, the carriers have specific... Like models because the, the pre-ordering hasn't started yet, but oh yeah okay so uh so if I do okay I want space gray oh, we haven't talked about that yet so we always had the choice between the black and oh the white. yeah you can pick yeah okay so what I'm saying is there's a lot of different iPads so there's two colors there's space gray and silver mm-hmm. so two colors so there's two choices right now. You got that? All right. Get your, uh, get your fingers out. Get my fingerings out. Okay. Now, there's four size options. Four size options. Okay. So, then, there's an, an two radio options. Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi with cellular. Okay. So, how many? And, they, and then there's still the black and the white, right? So, yeah. So, there's black or the space gray. No, the black and white are gone. It's space gray and silver now. Okay. So, it's just always black now? Space gray and silver. No, for the for face. Like, oh well, like, white would be on the silver one. It refers to the color on the back, not the color on the front. Just so you know. But the, does it get rid of the frame colors? What's a frame? Around the frame of the screen, you could either have white or black. No, that's still there. So it's another two. No, not really. Yes, really. No, but that we already went over that. No, we went over the back. No, they don't have a front fa- frame differentiator. They have the space gray and the black on the back. They scroll up. Space gray, silver. That's it. Yeah. It's not, not that hard. Yeah. Okay. So then we have four carriers. Times another four. Okay, what'd you get? I got 64 different combinations. And that's, and have we talked about, the, yeah, size? I think two. we got everything, yeah. And so, so that's just for the the iPad Air, and now there's that, that, yeah. the minis. And now there's the minis, and which the also. And two. We, and I don't even four. care about those. I don't even know how to think about those. So then the, then the iPad minis presumably have all the same options. Um, actually, you know, I don't know if that's true, because. There's a lot of them. The iPad mini might not have the, oh, nope, it does. I, I thought it might not have the 128. But. There's th- so that means there's 128 different iPad variants, and everybody loved Apple for only having a few choices. And now look at that. Yeah. So I think it's very interesting that these uh, cellular options aren't in a single universal radio set with more bands than ever before. Right. Exactly. So I wonder what their reasoning is for that. I don't know yet. I'd be interested in knowing. I'm guessing that they sell it at different prices. Like I'm guessing. Like the eighteen T one would have to pay more to for or less because there's always weird deals like that. But but the radios don't have anything to do with carriers. No, but the way they sell it, like the way they allow it on their network, like to have yeah, the have AT and T. Yeah, but I don't think uh, Apple cares though. It doesn't matter if they care or not. No, it pretty much matters. Like Apple gets to do whatever they want. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Let's compare models and see what happens. Oh, look, there's so many choices. So, did we talk about the iPad Mini? Well, yes, we did. We talked about the iPad Mini with Retina display. We well, yes, we did. How much is it base model? Uh, two ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Yeah. So the, the base model is three ninety nine, but then the iPad Mini from last year that's still on the lineup, but it's two ninety nine. So it's down thirty dollars, but it's it. I think that's a good deal. Okay. Uh, but I also wonder if people will really buy that. I don't know. The five C is selling. People buy stupid stuff because you know in the store they won't have a single non-red iPad Mini yeah. anywhere. 
That's uh So what do you think about the seventy dollar increase though between the last year's base model and this year's base model for the iPad minis of the current generation? That's fine. I think that's fine. And I don't think people will notice that seventy dollar difference too much. I mean, they were gonna buy a cover anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then um yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. No, I think that's about it. So overall, what, what did you think about this? Was it well, was it good? It was good, and I called it there were no TVs. There were no TV updates for the Apple TV, which I think think is weird. Um like I don't think they've it's done fine. It's fine. I don't think they've done It's a sucky product nobody's buying and it's fine. A lot of people buy it. I don't think they've done a processor spec bump since the shrunk A5. And that was with the different remote and everything else, and it's fine. Like, oh, that's um, the same remote as always. No, they changed uh, the face. Like, you know, it's physically the same piece of hollowed aluminum. Oh, the, yeah. The bump. Like, you know, right, the, right. the recessed bump. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know why they changed that, just for blind people. Yeah, that's pretty much a good reason. Yeah. Because, you know, they're watching TV. <laughs> oh, no, they have to have it set up for impaired. No, you know, the best thing with uh, Apple TV is that the AirPlay, and you can just mirror your device. And send local pictures to it. Yeah. Unlike a certain Chrome stick I have. Yeah, that needs to change a little, for anyone little, to buy it. A little bit. So, do you think uh, you'll ever uh, look at an iPad Mini? Or, uh, no. An no I, uh, iPad Air? Uh, Air. Air is the way to go now. I think Air is the way to go now. Uh, if So, my aunt is looking to buy an iPad. And so, originally I was telling her to wait for the new announcement, which is now. Here we are. And so now my suggestion is to get an air. Probably get an air, even though it's a hundred dollars more than the mini. It's nothing. It isn't. It basically is nothing. But my my bigger thing is, it's almost just as small now. And so she wanted the the mini because it was smaller, and she didn't need the bulk of the iPad four. But now since it's so much smaller, I think it's fine. The stress that she should not buy the two. Oh no, she knows that to do that. I don't know. I can't believe they're still manufacturing. I know. Isn't that crazy? No, they have to be manufacturing. There's no way they could sell it in this quantity. So, uh, some, 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 some speculation onto why is there's a lot of education still using the iPad 2. And if somebody breaks an iPad 2, they can't, they need to be able to replace it. And so they buy it for that. Uh, and they can't buy an iPad Air or or an iPad mini with retina display because of the, the changed connectors. Because if they already have infrastructure for the 30-pin connector, they can't change it yet. But that seems like then bad reason. You're reasoning. buying into a dead cycle. Right. You're buying into a dead cycle. But that's what schools do. Look at SPPS. Look. I can't believe they tied up all their money from this year already and for the 2015 school. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. You know how it is. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, good event. Yeah, I think it was good. So I'll be watching the... Uh, event tomorrow? Well, allegedly, there might be an event tomorrow. So we'll probably do another special tomorrow. Um, I'll see if I can get Ian Buck on for that show too because he's kind of a big Nexus fan. Yeah. I, I couldn't find Brian Mitchell, so we'll see. Yeah. No, he'll probably surface later today. Uh, no, that was on Sunday. Oh, it was? Yeah, those, you, nobody heard about that surface event because it didn't even happen. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, so this was the uh, event for the Apple on the uh, iPad day. Yeah, have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs>